Published, 1053 EST, January 9, 2018, Updated, 1053 EST, January 9, 2018 The risk of cot death could be reduced by a new Fitbit-styled baby monitor that will let parents track heart and breathing rates via updates to their smartphone. The life-saving gadget, currently under development, relies on a liquid sensor created from the wonder material graphene. A prototype proof of concept has been tested successfully and its designers are hoping to manufacture a wearable version that can be mass-marketed. Scroll down for video cot death could become a thing of the past, thanks to a baby monitor that will let parents track heart and breathing rates via updates to their smartphone. The life-saving gadget, currently under development, relies on a liquid sensor created from the wonder material graphene the Seuss team were inspired to create the new health monitor after the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation called for new affordable, wearable health technologies for babies in situations where resources are scarce. Currently, to monitor the pulses of babies clunky sensors need to be attached to their tiny hands or feet, and often fall off. Due to the liquid technology being so sensitive, it picks up very small signals when attached to the body. This means monitoring could be done wirelessly and non-invasively with a fitness tracker-like band, or even embedded within the fabric of a sensor vest for a baby to wear. Designed by physicists at the University of Seuss, fluid inside the device is made from an emulsion of graphene, water and oil, which conducts electricity. Graphene, which is comprised of a single two-dimensional layer of carbon atoms, is strong, flexible and conductive. When a channel or tube holding the liquid is stretched even by a small amount, for example by breathing or blood pressure, the conductivity of the liquid changes. This means that the respiration rates and pulses of anyone wearing the device can be tracked. This information can then be transmitted to a connected smartphone app. An adult-sized prototype based on the technological breakthrough has been created by the SUS team, who are talking to sponsors to fund further research to bring it to market. The technology is cheap to produce and could also be used to help people with sleep apnea. Professor Alan Dalton of the University of SUS said, Using the conducting liquid emulsions we have developed, we will produce cheap, wearable sensors based on Graphene. The devices will be comfortable, non-invasive and can provide intuitive diagnostics of breathing and heart rate. We will eventually have a suit that the baby can wear which will read out all vital information wirelessly. We hope to see this made available within two to four years. The SUS team were inspired to create the new health monitor after the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation called for new affordable, wearable health technologies for babies in situations where resources are scarce. Currently, to monitor the pulses of babies clunky sensors need to be attached to their tiny hands or feet and often fall off. This image shows an adult-sized alpha version prototype of the health monitor, worn by a collaborator from the university's advanced materials development department due to the liquid technology being so sensitive, it picks up very small signals when attached to the body, the University of Seuss said. This means monitoring could be done wirelessly and non-invasively with a fitness tracker-like band, or even embedded within the fabric of a sensor vest for a baby to wear. Professor Dalton said the sensor they have created in the lab has the potential to drastically improve early detection of life-threatening symptoms including sleep apnea or cardiac arrhythmia, where constant monitoring with conventional equipment is challenging outside the hospital. He suggested the technology could one day even be expanded into fitness wear. Professor Dalton also revealed he came up with the idea for the new graphene emulsion as he was making a salad dressing with his daughter. This image shows a microscopic close-up of the graphene, water and oil emulsion developed by University of Seuss physicists. Graphene is very affordable as it can be produced using naturally occurring graphite, so this could be rolled out on a big scale. He added this is good news for health services because the new technology will not be expensive to make and buy. It also means it should be affordable to individuals. Dr. Matthew Large, lead researcher on the project, said the inclusion of graphene in the fluid stops the mixture of liquids separating over time. The sensitivity of this new kind of strain sensor is actually much higher than a lot of existing technologies, and it is the most sensitive liquid-based device ever reported by quite a significant margin, he added. Details of their work and designs has been published in the journal.